So back in 2010, when we started the program, we, uh, we had an interview, uh, what should I say, tour uh, with different customers in order to learn their uh, needs, requirements, and uh, to learn of their best experiences and practices so far in the industry. Then we go into the concept stage where we are uh, uh, proposing a single, what should I say, combination of technologies, main dimensions, looking into uh, the target uh, specifications for the new product. Moving on from concept stage is then into what we call the preliminary design phase where we are making the 3D model of the product. Of course, combined with a lot of analysis, uh, CFD studies, FEM studies, uh, basic and advanced analysis of course of uh, thermodynamic performance, looking into the emissions and so on. We, we then have a full proposal of what the engine should look like. In terms of engine performance, I think it's important to acknowledge the fact that this is a brand new engine design. We actually had a full engine assembled by the end of 2013 and the startup was, was done also in 2013. Uh, starting the engine was a good experience for us. Uh, the engine was uh, quickly made ready for, uh, for starting up. We found that the fuel consumption was uh, quite quickly actually brought down to the target specification of 177 grams per kilowatt hour. And that within uh, the raw emission specification for IMO tier 2. Uh, and for us that's been a, a great tribute to the program really and to the engineers and uh, colleagues participating to see that we actually met the target specifications within a short period of time. Working together with uh, our colleagues uh, of MTU and Friedrichshafen has been a great help. Uh, we've been using their expertise in, in terms of CFD analysis and uh, FEM analysis. So it's been a great tribute and a great, uh, great help, I would say, in, in developing this new engine. The engine is now uh, IMO Tier 3 compliant, uh, building on a clear strategy from uh, when we started the project. Looking into uh, life cycle cost, it's been a big focus for us all the way since the interviews with the customers back in 2010. Uh, knowing of course that fuel consumption is the most important aspect. Also looking into uh, service overhaul intervals, being able to synchronize the engine overhaul with uh, the ship reclassification every fifth year has led us to be able to offer 25,000 hours service intervals. It's fair to say that the product has been really well received. I think the customers' uh, reactions has been uh, very positive. In fact, we have been able now to secure the first contract of, uh, of a nine-cylinder propulsion engine to be delivered uh, in the spring 2015. Um, we are also, of course, looking into uh, future uh, emission technology for this platform in terms of gas fuel as well, of course.